So just a little opener before we really get into it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Sharon, Marty. Uh, yeah, is that we're um, here um, representing Lottie Hill TV, the city, the whole city where this big event is going to be, this memorable event um, for the 41st IRAMA um, you know, International Reggae and World Music Awards event, um, and where your your mother, Dr. Rita Marley, will be receiving, you know, being honored. Uh, mm -hmm. And so Lauder Hill TV is just bringing positivity, highlighting the positivity in our community. And um, you are one of the spotlights for this grand affair. Uh, Melissa Jane is the uh, founder, owner, operator, president, and CEO for Lauder Hill TV. So I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned okay. that. And I am okay. just helping nice. as Julia Lewis Span to help out with this, yeah. this whole process. Thank you. So thank, thank you, you for so having me. Thank you for making it happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so we you. came across a couple bumps, but here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So yeah. let's hear from you, the wonderful, the beautiful, the honorable as well, uh, Sharon Marley. What's going on with you? What are you looking forward to this week and what's been happening? Well, a lot is going to be happening this week. You know, the the first of which is going to be the Iwama Award on Friday. Um, my mom just got back from Jamaica and she's very much looking forward to the event. Mm -hmm. And she's asked me, what songs am I going to sing? You know, so I said to her, no, it's going to be a surprise. She said, nope, I want to know which songs you're singing. So, you know, I was talking to my sister and she said, you know, that's very much like, like mom. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a very professional person. She's prepared on hand for the event. She loves to curate events. Mm -hmm. You know, she's definitely a, a great philanthropist, which is what she's getting the award for at IRA. Mm -hmm. So she definitely deserves that recognition because she started the first Tough Gong records even before that she used to ride with the um the 45s in the liquor box on our head on our bicycle oh wow so even from then she was creating from nothing mm -hmm. basically you know so she has that that gift mm -hmm. wow wow that's amazing she plays the trail for so many people you know, um, yes. for children and her and other people around and for our world, really, not just yes. for the family, but for our community. For and sure. Yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. to, 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 until she she's become a nana in mm -hmm. Ghana, they um they crowned her queen mother of the village of Konkonyo. Wow. Back seven years, I want to say more than... 20, several years ago, more than 20 years ago, they found her the queen mother of Konkonuro. Wow. So she has a village there that she has a children's um school. Wow. You know, kindergarten. Um, She has an old age home there wow. as well as a studio. Hmm. You know, that's that's one one leg of the Rita Mali Foundation is based in Ghana. Wow. So she has her foot in there. <laughs> wow, impressive, impressive. Yes, More legacy continuing on to the generation. Yeah, she continues to impress. Yes. You know, even to this stage of her life, I still find her very impressing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and I still find her setting the bar for me. Yes. Even at this stage of her, her life. Yes. You know, yes. in this condition that she's in, she's still... Still. Setting the bar, you know, I always have to remember that mommy set a high bar for me to, you know, keep up. To keep up, yes. So that has to be constant in my brain in everything that I do. Yes, yes, yes. She's fearless too, right? She's of course a warrior, right? Yeah, and she had to raise all of us, you know, she, as a as a I want to say a single mother more time because. Bob passed away when they were only 36. She was 35 and he was 36. Yeah. So she spent a lot of her years raising us on her own, basically. Mm -hmm. So I think that alone is some fearless stuff right there. <laughs> yes. 
an inspiration for single parents around the yes. world, right? Indeed, indeed. She had to bear day after day. Yes. Being a mother. I mean, she has a village, you know, because our auntie was there and there was Sister Marcy or Sister Judy or... She she had a small village, but still eighty percent of the responsibility was on her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, to protect you, to to do the normal things that mothers do, yes, to, to train you, to keep us safe, safe, you know, to keep us safe, you know, because after they were the assassin, the failed assassination attempt at my parents that a big part of their job was keeping us safe. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes. And not knowing who to trust. Definitely. But Bob, you know, Bob left a lot of his songs with all kind of messages in there. You know, it's encrypted. Yeah. And, and so over the years, they become light to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, even as just us, as the immediate family, as so people in the world, Bob's message is still resonating with people. Yes. So that's the same way we learned about who he was, the same way people learn, you know, still learning about who he, who he was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And your identity is shaped and formed through this, through your experiences. Oh, yes. To my host from um, Greenwich Park Road to where I am presently. You know, I never forget my past. We never forget our past because some of our best days were spent in Trench Town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I love the Bob Marley song. Come from Trench Town. That's one of my favorite Bob Marley song because it resonates with me. And when I sing it, I, you know, I feel it. I know where it's all coming from. Yes. So I perform that in my um. I have a little short show, you know, that I've, I think I'm going to do a couple more times. I had my first performance at the AGO mm -hmm. in Toronto, the Ontario, the Gal Art Gallery of Ontario. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very exciting for me. And that was, it was a one hour set. Yes. Basically. And um, that was definitely one of the songs that I had to get in my set, mm -hmm. you know. And and no man will cry. I very rarely sing that song yes. because, of course, it's it's a sad it's a sad love it's a love song, but it's a sad love song to me. But I had to do that song for my mother in mm -hmm. in my set. So yes. I enjoy um, resonating with my family's message. You know. Yes. Yes. Wow. That is that is just such a blessing. It's a gift from above, right? And, yes, indeed. You know, and you're more than cherishing it. You're not hiding that light that you have under a bush. Not at right? all. Right? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. You know, there's a time and a place for everything, like old people usually tell you. Mm -hmm. There's a time and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so just said this is the time for doing what I am doing. Yes. You know, it wasn't then, it wasn't 10 years ago, it wasn't. 12 years ago, it wasn't 20 years ago, you know, it's, it's now. And um, I can't fight that because it's a call, you know, when you get a call, you have to answer basically. Yes. You were definitely called, right? Yes. You were chosen. You were chosen. Yes. Be... I was put in this, I was put in that situation. You know, that wasn't, I didn't choose that situation to be born in this family. You know, but God's plan so somehow put me there for whatever my mission is now, and the future of my my future generation will be on the same mission. Yes, you yes. know, which is the mission of our parents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and our four parents. Yes, yes. In observing your mother and how she, you know, saved you, protected you. And kept you safe. What did that teach you? How did that shape how you, as a caregiver as well as a bringing life into this world, how, how did that shape your experience too? 
Well, I've always been the big sister, mm -hmm. right? So that, of course, means that the younger ones are automatically my responsibility from a very young age, as, as young as I can remember, yes. you know, which is maybe four years old or five years old. Mm -hmm. I can remember being responsible for my younger sister, Sadella, at the time, mm -hmm. right? And then came Ziggy, and then came Steve, mm -hmm. and then came Robbie, Ron, then came Kimani, then came Stephanie, then came. So they all are my children. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they all will tell you, they all will tell you, you know, I'm their big sister. Yes. Because that's, that's how it is. And um, it's a big responsibility, but I, from very early, I was shaped to be the caregiver. Yes. So that's, you know, first of my family, then of my elders, mm -hmm. then of my children, then of other people's children, then no of my children's children. Yes. Yes. So, yes. And yeah, that's a special role, especially as a grandmother. You know, it, it hits a little bit different. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Caregiver, you you know, it's the the one. You're the one, right? Well, I've home. read about I've read, I've read about the, the the special responsibility of a caregiver as it pertains to in the biblical sense, right? And that in itself speaks to me and it, it spoke to my mother as far as I can see about that sense of being responsible for others, mm -hmm. whether it's children or adults. Yeah. There's always this tremendous need to nurture. Mm hmm you know, and, and also another important role is that of a teacher. Yes. You know, as I was saying to somebody today, after the parent, the teacher becomes the next people that are responsible for your children. Mm -hmm. You know, after the parents. Oh, yeah. So the teacher's role is also up there yeah. on being a blessing, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to teach, to be able to pass on information in a positive way. Yes. You know, it's a big job. Yes. Yes. You know, it's a big job. Because the lyrics, right? They're carrying a message and we see exactly. lyrics that aren't always um kosher is a word, like they're not pure, they're not positive. Positive. Yeah. They're not um, yeah. uplifting, they're not helping to empower anyone with for social justice for freedom. Yes, sister, yes. Right? You know, they're yeah. they're destructive in many ways. So there's yes. a fight against the outer forces, but there's a fight even within for those who've kind of sold true, out to true, true. You know, just entertainment, right? And that's yeah, and and, and you know, they'll all. I mean, I said to somebody, where well, everybody have to survive. You know, everybody have to hustle, mm -hmm. which is in fact, you know, is a, is you have to take care of life life's needs so you have to make money mm -hmm. right and you're so lucky when you can do something that you love and not for money yes you yeah. know and i'm blessed to have reached that place where i had to hustle i had to work hard in my younger days mm -hmm. you know but now when i'm doing music it's more than doing it for money it's it's yeah. doing it for love and to spread love Mm -hmm. You know, and to empower love and to speak love and to be love. Mm -hmm. You know, that, yes. I don't have to do that in a big old setting. I can do that with just maybe a nice 20 persons, a nice, a nice little audience. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I am in my uh, state of, of being now, mm -hmm. you know. And I wouldn't say to a next artist, be there where I am. Mm -hmm. No, they have to be who they are. Yes. And who am I to determine who you are? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, so I'm trying to get to that place where there's space for everyone, mm -hmm. you know, but not because you do that, why I have to do that. Yes. I'm going to take my space over here. Mm -hmm. You know, there's space for everyone and, and different kind of music, but you just have to be conscious of what it is your music is really doing. Yes, yes, the impact, the impact exactly. on the audience who is listening. Yeah, they're all responsible. We're responsible for that. Yes. You know, as musicians. 
Yes, um, as you were saying earlier, there's space for everyone, but do you think, or would you agree that you don't have to sell out to survive? What, do you, what are your thoughts on I mean, that? What is sell out? I don't even know. What is sell out? What compromise. is that? Compromise the values? Compromise? Like I said, I mean, God gave us the same oxygen to be. He, he didn't make your oxygen that different from my oxygen. Mm -hmm. You know, your blood color might look different from my blood color based on what we eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but everything is ours. Yes. It's, a, it's a bounty. Yes. It's a bounty. Look how big the earth is. Yes. Yes. Look how big the universe is. I mean, I know I encourage anybody to go out there and I'll go searching in the universe because I think that's sacred space still. Mm -hmm. But look how big the, the the earth is that, you know, I don't particularly believe in, okay, you must sing this. Mm. I personally wouldn't sing, um, what do people in Texas sing? Um, What's that called? In Texas? In cowboy music, yeah. Oh. I wouldn't, I don't, that's not my genre of music. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. But suppose another reggae musician feel like they want to sing mm -hmm. Texan. Mm -hmm. That's okay with me. The yes. world yes. is our oyster. God gave us the earth and the fullness thereof. Yes. You know, so if you want to sing, come take a piece of reggae and put on an African beat, mm -hmm. that's okay with me. Oh, yes, yes. Just make sure you can say, you know, says reggae this come from. Mm, give credit. It's only fair. Yeah, give credit. That's yes. it. And that's what we'll be doing on Friday. You know, Friday, that's the biggest thing. And that's why it's so important because there's not enough um, credit given to those who have, as you just said, have paved the way. It's the foundation. Right. This is foundational. Exactly. exactly. Part of the foundation. Yes, right? I, I am. Um, I mean, don't want to age myself, but <laughs> in 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 history, you know, in the future, I'll be definitely be a part of the foundation of, of this music because I I too went through a, a stage in time where people were saying Ziggy Mali and the melody makers sell out. Oh, you know, now that you because I don't dwell in those places, you know, I don't dwell in dark places. I try not to. But I remember that used to happen because we kind of had a crossover producer, like Tomorrow People. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not a straight reggae song. Mm -hmm. That is a kind of blending, mixing of R&B and reggae. Mm -hmm. So from when they were saying, Mel Ziggy Man and Mel Ziggy and Mel Ziggy but they're probably still saying that. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Mm -hmm. Our music never declined in its value. Right, right. You know, the songs still resonate. The words are still relevant. It's true. And that's what it is important. Mm -hmm. Not what kind of music you're singing on, mm -hmm. you know, but what is what it is that you're saying in your music. Exactly. That's what that's what you have to do is define what does sellout mean? Is it is it yeah. compromising? Your, your, like you even asked, is it selling out in terms of uh, the music genre or is it selling out in terms of the lyrics? And I think yeah, it's more, more opportunity to make love than than opportunity to make war. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly. I think we need to find more opportunities for peace. Yes. You know, like there's enough war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we we'll find opportunities for peace as a people, or as we, it's gonna be dreaded and dread. Yes. So the, you know the song um, "War," right? Mm. That song, you know singing those lyrics and just thinking, you know, until the color of a man's skin is of no more, of no more significance. So it, it, it's basic. It's it, like, it's my just to tell us that. It's like, it sends chills, it right? Us. It's like, oh my goodness, this is like, it's true. It's so true. It's like we still don't learn. It's like we're so, we're still so ignorant. What is it know? going to take, you know? <laughs> so. I just think each of us are obligated to make peace in whatever way we can. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like waiting on the big man. They're mm -hmm. not going to fix it. Mm -mm. You know, sister, they're not going to fix it. So 
each and every one of I and I need to take responsibility for bringing peace, even to our very doorstep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. From from starting from our home, our hearts, right? Internally. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. This is um <clears throat> sorry. This is the thing. We have to look at from the inside out, you know, mm -hmm. the spiritual practices. Yeah. We have. I know you practice um you practice meditation and and different things to keep yourself grounded and connected to yeah. higher power and you know something that's very basic. Like people might think it takes a lot to practice self care and pra and practice consciousness mm -hmm. and meditation. It don't take a lot. You don't have to go with a lot of people in a special clothes to <laughs> to do none of those things. Right. A friend of mine, I was saying to him, um, I don't know if I was telling him I was feeling anxious, mm -hmm. or something like that. And he said, "You need grounding." And I said, "What's that? Mm -hmm. What kind of um?" Gem, do I need for that? You know, he says you just need to walk barefooted. Mm -hmm. Yes, something basic like that. Yes. You know, is a practice. Yes. Uh, is a consciousness of connecting with the earth, grounding yourself. Okay, that makes sense. Grounding, ground. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go in the encyclopedia to look up any fancy anything. You know, mm -hmm. connection to self. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yeah, and it's, it's a lot of people, like I said, uh, it's a village that teach you these things. Mm -hmm. it's one place you go and learn, mm -hmm. you know, yoga and mastering self and speaking to God, and uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the village and how we communicate and what your old people used to say to you. and Mm. Sunday school and yes. you know reflecting those things I wouldn't change all every Sunday would have to get up for church you know mm -hmm. and in the Orthodox Church you have to stand up for good two hours straight you know <laughs> Ethiopian Orthodox Church wow and you couldn't eat any breakfast before you go to church because you have to take communion so mm. Mm. discipline discipline yes this generation lack it you know this generation lacks it. And of course, I was I'm holding myself responsible too for not encouraging my children to be taking their children to church. Because mm -hmm. they went to church, you know. Mm -hmm. But you have to low, low them to find them way and just be there to gently remind them, you know, you can go to church every other Sunday or you know. <laughs> Something. 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 Same thing I do it's with my important. Life. Yes. Yes, that, that spiritual connection is very important. It's not only physical, that's important, you know? Yes, and you know, that's one of the things that will be taking place at uh this week's events too with the International Reggae and World Music Awards, also known as IRAMA, is mm -hmm. there's a, the day before the event, the awards event that night, Friday night, the twenty second, the night before is or the day before is the health advocacy forum the health yes i saw that i saw yeah. that advertised that's great at the same venue at lottie hill performing arts center or lpac as some people know it on sunrise and and state road 7 441 so so is it is this the first time that the health fair is being okay um, it's a one of a kind type of thing because it's linked to the performers right it was targeting the performers who are often going out, helping everyone, running, running here and there, one town to the next. Right. And right. then they might neglect their health. Yeah. And they don't take the time for themselves. They're trying to serve so much. Yes. Step, stop to love yourself, right? There's yeah. A stop to love. I, so, I saw my mother doing that. Mm -hmm. We saw our mother doing that. I think that taught us how to do that too, you know? She used to rub the sun on her on her legs mm -hmm. and her skin and said, This is the best skin yeah. care, you know. Yeah. No spa, you can't pay them for this sun, mm -hmm. you know, how expensive mm -hmm. that would be. And we tried over the years and so so, so done. Yes. Your skin smooth, mm -hmm. you know. 
So self care is definitely entertainers tend to and not not just entertainers, caregivers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And and care, care so much people fall under that category of of caregivers too. You know, it's not just doctors and um, nurses, right. but you have grandmothers, you have aunties, you have uncles, you have you know best friends. Mm -hmm. You know so. People who 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 look after that aspect of being alive, they're yeah. they're really special people, and mm -hmm. they should be taken care of. Oh yes, we just they coming should. from the pandemic with the COVID, and husbands were taking care of wives, wives were taking care of husbands, yes, and children were taking care of their parents. You know, yeah, that was. I hope we don't have to go through that again, but I, I think very much that they're trying to do that again. Mm -hmm. You know? But it 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 was hard, but we made the we we went the extra length to make sure our loved ones were safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we made sure that we wouldn't go around mom without being properly mm -hmm. you know, the whole thing. Even though I feel like I want to put on my mask when I go on the airport. Yes, yes. You know? You just don't know what's out there. You just right? don't know. Collective security, for sure. It's exactly. So as we kind of come through and wrap up here right now, I want to make sure that you get a chance to kind of say any last things you want about your dear mother and what you're hoping to do, you know, how you're hoping to kind of shine, mm -hmm. you said, earlier shine through her to mm -hmm. her and for her and then beyond that what what are you what are your plans where can we find you after this after the awards on friday well you know what this is an important um event not only because it's recognizing other persons in the industry but for me to be performing um for my mother you know, she's seen me perform as a part of the Himalayan Melody Makers for years. You know, she was our first manager, you know, so she's toured with us. Mm -hmm. She sang background vocals with us. She's, you know, brought tutors on tour for us. And so she's she's she did a great job as our first manager, you know, taught us about how the business side of music functions. Mm -hmm. But she's never seen me sing solo mm. you know so for me it's a historic moment yeah. to be singing solo and to her mm -hmm. so if i really think about the awesomeness of it i might get a little bit nervous and and shaky with you know it's a part of being alive yes um but that's awesome you know yeah. that's that's awesome and it's a privilege Mm -hmm. Um, thank you, you guys at Arama for giving me that opportunity, you know, because life is, you don't know what tomorrow brings, mm -hmm. you know, so do it today. Yes. And, and so I'm glad I've performed solo a couple of times, but she's never been there. Like it was too cold in Toronto for her to come, mm -hmm. you know? So I was like, sure. So to know, having the opportunity on Friday to to pay tribute to her in song. It's a big, it's great. It's a big deal. Wow. wow. Yeah. So thank you so much, um, Sharon, Marley. We really appreciate your time. So to know having the opportunity on Friday to, to pay tribute to her in song, it's a big, it's great. It's a big deal. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So thank you so much, um, Sharon, Marley. We really appreciate your time. We are greatly anticipating your um, uh, performance in honor of your dear mother, the Dr. Rita Marley, um, on Friday, the 22nd of March, here mm -hmm. in uh, South Florida, Fort Lauderdale area, at the Lauderdale Hill Performing Arts Center. We're looking forward to seeing you on the red carpet just before that. You'll probably be swarmed by people wanting to speak with you about this. <laughs> so, my people, man. It's, it's our people. 
Yes. You yes. know, it's our people. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks. you for having me. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Forward to seeing you there. Oh, yes. We will see you on Friday, the 22nd of March at the Lauder Hill Performing Arts Center, the 41st International Reggae and World Music Awards. Thank you, Lauder Hill TV. <laughs> thanks you, Melissa Jane. Thanks you. Thank you. <laughs>